In this video, I'm going to give you an overview of our platform. So we use WordPress as the content management system, and we have selected a theme and a number of plugins that will allow you to build a pretty robust website fairly easily. So most of the sites that we're trying to build don't need to be too fancy, but you should have everything you need within the platform to be able to pull that off. Uh, by default, your site should look something like this. We've gone ahead and done some modifications to the default WordPress install to get you a good starting point. Um, and then to access the back end, first thing you're going to do is choose your login link. Go ahead and log in, and then it's going to take you to the dashboard. This is just the back end of WordPress as it typically comes. Um, if you're not familiar with WordPress, uh, I'm not going to get too deep into everything, but everybody has this tab called training videos. And back here gives you some basics to just about everything that's available here. So um, the dashboard, of course, the editor, which you'll use a good bit throughout uh, this event, how images are uploaded and used and all the different things you can do with them, pages, media. There's a core piece way down here at the bottom called Page Builder, and we're using Beaver Builder the theme and Beaver Builder the plugin, which is really going to make it easy for you to throw page templates together and modify things to look really good. I would start here if you have any questions about that stuff. I'm also going to show you in other videos some very easy uh, how-tos just to get you started. <clears throat> Posts is what we would consider the blog. Everything comes out reverse chronological order. Um, can be categorized and tagged. By default, there are no posts. So if you would like to have um, some default content in here to play with and just to see how things will look as you're building your page templates, there is an XML file along with this video. It should be just below it. And you'll need to import that so that you can have your default content there. I'll show you that in a different video. This media tab should house all the images a PDF of your sitemap and any other documents that the nonprofit has uploaded. As this is just a baseline install, there's no media items in here right now, but you should see some here. And if you don't, that means that they didn't finish the work, but um, we can get around that. By default, we have some plugins installed. One of them is Gravity Forms, and we've already built a Contact Us form for you. The nonprofits were also working inside of these other two forms, which you should see over here. Uh, each one of these can have entry data. So if the nonprofit has filled these out correctly, you'll be able to come in here and view those entries and see all the data that you need. This will really be the first thing that you do as you go through your, tre your Trello board so that you can get an idea of the site that you're trying to build. Pages is the actual pages for WordPress, which is a little different than posts. They look the same on the back end. They could look the same on the front end, but they work differently inside the database. By default, we've got a home, contact us, and about. The branding questionnaire and website questionnaire are in place just to house the forms that the nonprofit used, so these can actually be removed in the end. And you should have more than this as well if your nonprofit finished the coursework properly and had added theirs based on their sitemap. If not, you'll be able to add them yourself. Shouldn't be any comments. Appearance is where your theme lives at. Builder is important because this is where you're going to modify your header and your footer. You'll also be able to add additional templates as needed for other different pages and things that you want to use, um, such as a page header. Plugins. This is where you'll find all the different functionality functionality that you might want to add to the site. For example, we've already got some of them active and they're in use by default. Beaver Builder plugin, the themer, uh, Foobox, which is a light box plugin that gives you opportunity to put content inside of a light box. Gravity Forms, like I mentioned, by default, which there's a number of additional Gravity Forms add-ons that we have available. Ultimate add-on for Beaver Builder, Zipper at the end. If your nonprofit wants access to all their files and database, you can use this. So um, as you're going through, let's say you need something like a, uh, you want to build a donate form. There's a great plugin in here called Give Donation Plugin. It's really easy to build a form out with that that then links to PayPal or another couple of other uh, merchants as well. Um, if you need to do an events calendar, we've got the Events Calendar Pro in there. 
if you need to do some translating for multiple languages, G translates in here. We may be working on some other ones as well. But you should have everything in here that you need to pull off this website successfully. If for whatever reason you find another plugin that is more appropriate or the website you're working on already has one that you need to migrate over, come talk to the support team and they'll review it for you and see if we can add it in. Because if we add it in, it's going to be available for everybody on every site. And if we were to add in every plugin that anybody thinks that they need, um, this archive starts to get a little out of control. So also do not buy plugins. If you feel like you need a different plugin for your nonprofit, do not buy it. Um, it's going to be a waste of your money in the event that we don't add it to this archive. So if they want it after the event, that's one thing, but during the event, it's just don't, please don't buy it. Okay. Users, you shouldn't really need to do anything in here. Tools, this is where you'll be able to import um, page content if you have an export from another WordPress site, which I'll show you in another video. And then settings, all this stuff should already be set for you uh, for our baseline install. Okay, so that should be good for getting started here. And please check out the other videos to see how to start modifying this front end stuff.